everybody welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be doing a quick video on the dbrand skin install so i just got a few more dbrand skins for my devices and i decided that it would be a good idea just to show you guys what it's like to put them on and how much time it takes generally and what kind of uh you know process it is generally it takes in the past it takes me usually 20 to 30 minutes per device you know, uh, smaller, it depends on the device. Most devices are easy, but then the iPhones and any device that has a curved edge, it's really hard because you have to take a lot of time to make sure that the curves look perfect. What you need for this installation is, one, you need a cleaner, anything that will just clean your device first. And then you need the skin itself. So this is the S8 one. And here is the iPad skin. So I got the marble finish for my iPad, and here is a microfiber cloth they include. Essentially, you don't need much to get this process done, but the one important thing you definitely need when doing this is a hairdryer. The installation without a hairdryer is next to impossible, especially with devices that have curved edges like the iPhone, iPad, because without the hairdryer, you're not gonna get the neat results that you want on the curves. To get started on this process, what I recommend you do is you watch the video that dbrand has already made on their website. They have a complete tutorial of how to do this. Even though I've done it a lot of times, I always prefer to watch their steps once because it really does help give you an idea of what needs to be done. And as long as you follow those steps, you should get a pretty good finish and a pretty good result. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to watch the video as I do the steps along with it, but I would definitely recommend for you to watch it once thoroughly before you start the process, as sometimes it might get confusing. All right, the first step of this process is to just clean up your device, make sure there's no dust on it, there's no, you know, a stickiness, no nothing, just a very clean device. So I'm just gonna spray my iPads on the back and run it clean with this microfiber cloth. You don't have to worry too much about getting it perfectly 110% clean. As long as there's no visible big pieces of dust or uh, tra uh, any visible kind of uh, adhesives or anything else stuck to your device, you should have no issues. And even if you do find there's a bump or something underneath your skin, all you can you can easily lift it up and put it back on. So I'm going to continue. All right, so what we have to do here is we need to take out the skin from the paper. It must be really hard for you guys to see because it's a white skin. But what we have to do is we have to remove it from the 3M paper it comes on and reposition it so that it's easier to apply. All right, there we go. And what it wants you to do is it, to leave the lower portion of the skin exposed so that you can line it up with the bottom. So for the iPad, what we need to do is we need to start from the bottom portion. So as you can see, I have my skin lined up here and I am going to line it up with the charger and the speaker grill. It's okay if you don't get this on your first try Generally, it takes one to two tries to get it on perfectly. And the it usually doesn't stick well, like all the way immediately when you do it. You generally have to apply a little bit of heat and uh, pressure to ensure that you get that perfect fitment and uh, perfect kind of uh, bond to the device. All right, so what it's telling me to do now is to realign this sticker so that we can, not the sticker, I'm sorry, the paper that it comes with, so that it blocks off the center of the device, but it <clears throat> gives you access to position the camera cutout. So I'm gonna place it in there. All right. All right, so it says to apply pressure to wherever the paper isn't and then just pull out the paper. All right, so I have now done that. All right, so all you have to do is take it off and the center is actually one of the easiest parts of this install process. 
there we go. Once this paper is out, we can just pressure and smooth out any unevenness. Now that the center is on, what the video tutorial recommends is to start working on the sides. And they recommend by starting with the top of the screen. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take your hair dryer and you're supposed to apply heat to the top flap so that it's a little bit more flexible. And once that flexibility is achieved, and it becomes a little bit more sticky as well, once that happens, you have to quickly apply it onto your device and make sure that it sticks. Sometimes it doesn't stick on the first try, just make sure you rub it out until it does. As you can see, this has perfectly come on with no issues whatsoever. It's already starting to look like the iPad was never gold to start off with. So what we have to do is we basically repeat this process with the sides of all these and then come to these flaps. So I'm just gonna speed this process up and meet you guys back. So when you get to the volume button, this is a little bit tricky, but make sure that you just gently tap that area into place. Don't force it really hard because it is thin and there, there are chances of it not aligning properly. If it doesn't align properly, don't worry, just lightly take it off and try it again. But definitely be careful with that area. So now that all four corners are done, what we have to do is we have to apply a little bit of heat to these, not the flaps yet, just the corner bits and try and mold them around the device because it does curve. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the sticker is very clearly applied to the corners as well. Just try to make sure that the flaps don't flap around too much. I don't recommend holding your hand here because hair dryers do get hot, but just try to make sure it doesn't interfere. There we go, and side one done, moving on to side number two. Also a word of advice, make sure there's no loose items like papers or any sort of uh, light items because they will fly away when you use the hair dryer around here. Alright, working on side number two. Alright, side number three is done. Last corner. All right, so now I'm ready to move on to the hardest part of this installation, which are these flaps. These flaps are, are actually what makes the device look good. So you wanna make sure that you take your time and get these right. They are really tricky and I advise that you watch the video that dbrand has on their website for each device and make sure that you observe their process, observe what they're doing and match it. And don't worry if you don't get it right on the first try. The good thing about these flaps are they are easy to, you know, just heat up again and try again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed it up and hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. The key to a perfect corner installation is ensuring that the L over here, this kind of L shape here, there's absolutely no overlap. If there's any overlap, this is not going to adhere properly and at some point it will just rip off. So make sure that when you're doing this, the inner corners have absolutely no overlap with the other part of the skin. So if you guys have been observing, you can see that it took me quite a lot of time to get this corner perfect, but don't worry, take some time. It, it, it comes with practice and it's not just practice. Sometimes it just doesn't fit right and you need to have a couple of goes at it before it's perfect, but be persistent. Don't just think that halfway is enough, you know, do the steps very 
carefully and don't be shy to retry it because otherwise the finishing is just not going to be there and this with a skin finishing is the entire point if it doesn't look like it's seamless and there's no skin on the device there's no point in my opinion so just take your time and don't be afraid to redo it so here we are all four sides done now for the last stage of this step this process is we need to take this i'm just going to put this to the side we need to take this microfiber cloth that they included and basically what we need to do is we need to rub the corners and everything to basically wear them down and kind of make it feel seamless so all, what we do is start with the sides because they kind of you can see that they protrude what you have to do is just rub it really hard basically sand it down to make it look very smooth so it does take a little bit of effort and your hands are probably going to get a little bit blistery but it's worth it for the finish so there we go next side perfect one more and boom we're done here's the finished product you can see it looks very good the sides are i would say they're not extremely perfect but they're up there uh, this one corner was giving me a lot of trouble but i think that overall it did come out very well so the ipad iphones are the hardest ones to install in my opinion because of how much of the <laughs> It's mostly because of the complexity of these curves and these, you know, rounded edges. They make it a lot harder for the skin to be properly <clears throat> stuck on there. 